Here's one of the big philosophies I learned in network marketing. It's called the law of averages. If you do something often enough, a ratio will appear. Key phrase, if you do something often enough, a ratio will appear. It's amazing. It's uncanny. In baseball, we call it batting average. If you talk to 10 people, one says yes. Now the ratio has begun. One out of 10. Talk to 10, get one. Here's something interesting about the law of averages. Once it starts, it tends to continue. This is colossal information. Once a ratio starts, it tends to continue. If you talk to 10 and get one, sure enough, chances are excellent. If you talk to 10 more, you'll get another one. Talk to 10 more, you'll get another one. Now you can compete. If you can only get one out of 10, you can compete, even with somebody that can get nine out of 10. If you've been here a long time, you can get nine out of 10. I just joined, I can only get one out of 10. If we have a 30-day contest, I will beat you. You say, well, how could you beat me? Here's why. During that 30 days, you talk to 10 and get nine. I talk to 100 and get 10. I beat you. <laughs> Isn't that clever? This is clever stuff. And I do it for two reasons. I sincerely wish to win. But I do it for another very sincere reason. I wish for you to lose. <laughs> and that's noble on my part. Here's why it's noble. You learn more by losing than you do by winning. So I wish to give you that experience. Now here's how I do it once I understand uh, the law of averages. When I'm new, I make up in numbers what I lack in skill. I make up in numbers what I lack in skill. Now who can do that? Anybody that's ambitious. Anybody with a little ingenuity. Anybody, doesn't matter. Now here's one more. The law of averages can be increased. You get one out of 10, talk to 10, get another one. Talk to 10, get another one. The fourth time you talk to 10, you get two. Why would the fourth time you talk to 10, you get two instead of one? You're getting better. You're getting better. And who can get better? Anybody. Talk to 10, get two. Talk to 10, get two. Finally, talk to 10, get three. I finally got up to about three. Now, it takes more than a genius to go past like three or four. But three will do. If you bat 300 in baseball, they pay you $4 million a year, which means you're out seven times out of 10. Seven times out of 10, out. Make $4 million a year. Are you ready for that? So, this works so well now in your business. Just jot the phrase down. You don't have to bat a thousand. You don't have to bat a thousand to make big money. One out of ten is fine. Two out of ten is terrific. Three out of ten is fabulous. Some particular incredible genius might get four out of ten. But three out of ten is sufficient to make you rich beyond your wildest imagination. This is how I went after my friends, neighbors, and relatives when I first started recruiting. I said, look, I've got a new business, and I'm getting about three out of ten to join. And I don't mind you. Just come to the meeting and be one of the seven. <laughs> right? Doesn't matter. Right? You're my friend. You'll do me a favor. And so it's not important to me that you like it. It's not important to me that you join. It's certainly not important to me that you buy. It's just important to me that you listen. One of the reasons, though, I want you to hear the story is because a year from now, if I'm doing well, I don't want you to say, how come you never picked up the phone a year ago? I never got a letter, never got a call. You call me a friend? You're making all this money? You never picked up the phone. So I don't want that to happen. So for two reasons, I want you to see what I'm doing. So that a year from now, if I'm doing well, I can say, you know, I gave you the opportunity. But also, just as a favor, come and be one of the seven. It doesn't matter to me if you buy or join. But I need ten to get three. And if you're one of the three, wonderful. If you're not, wonderful. It, it doesn't. It might matter to you. It might matter to you, but it doesn't matter to me. Now, it matters to me because we're friends, but it doesn't matter in terms of my averages. 
So if you decide to get rich, just learn the law of averages.